Hi, everybody. I am Ball Pooks, as you know. Probably. Maybe not. If you don't know that I'm Ball Pooks, welcome to the B Movie Mania channel. Uh, I'm Ball Pooks. Um, I'm going to do another unboxing video for you. I've got this cool box right here from www.waxworkrecords.com. Um, as you can see, it says it's me because uh, I live in Hollywood, right there. And so this is a nice box. I mean, you can tell it's a record, a record vinyl. And so a lot of cool pictures on there. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff on there. Okay, time to open it up, which means it's a special tool, right? Um, I recommend with, when you're doing, um, boxes like this, this is, looks like a strong box. So you need a strong tool. So I've got like a saw in here. That's what I recommend for how stuff. Just be careful with it. Mm, it's coming at me. See, this is how you're able to properly cut it with a tool that makes sense. Use the right tool. That's why I always say that. Okay, and this has the nice, so I had to get, okay, as you can see, they had the tape on there, which is what I sawed through with my multi-tool. And then on here, it has, that, and then, nothing just kidding it's a little buffer in there let's see what we got we can you still see it okay we do this and we pull it up for the review uh oh i dropped something uh, oh okay oh check this out i got first things first the scary thing there but my order was carefully packed by gene that's fantastic now, I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna make sure Gene gets all the respect. Um, this, ooh, yeah, this is the Psycho Gorman vinyl soundtrack situation. That's beautiful, look at that. Original motion picture soundtrack by Blitz slash Berlin, 180 gram splatter vinyl, nice. Uh, art by Vance Kelly, 11 by 11 insert. So I got an insert in here, but look at this. Look at this beautiful, look at this beautiful work on this. And then on the back, look at that. That's beautiful. All right. So now, okay. So for these types of things, we don't want to use the saw tool. This isn't strong cardboard. This is just thin, uh, mylar, I think maybe some sort of thin plastic. So it's okay just to use one of these types of things. Like, okay, so this is this this type of thing. You don't want to use this end. I, it'll probably hurt the records. If you just want to use a thin knife, see how thin that is? That'll get right in the groove. Okay. Uh, and then also the trick for these, if you've got a gatefold like this one, you've got a little gap right here. So you can just get right in that gap. And slice it down. Beautiful. I'm going to do it on the other side just to make it easy. You could just do one side if you want. Oh, yeah. Okay, we set this down carefully. We don't want to cut yourself or anyone else. And then let's peel back the mylar. Oh, oh yeah. Looks even better without all the shiny plastic. Oh, it feels nice too. That's a nice thing. This was delayed a little bit uh, because of the COVID and supply lines, and there's been a, a stress on the vinyl industry a bit for supplies. So this was delayed a bit, but so far, and I'm sure by the end it, it still will be. But just well worth it. I mean, you know, it just things happen. You know, you can't get mad at people because things happen. So I just want to say before I even get more into this, folks at Wax Waxworks. Thank you. This is beautiful. Thank you for dealing with probably all the horse shit that people were 
complaining about, I'm sure. Because they're jackasses. All right, let's look at the inside. I'll let you guys see it first. And... Oh, it's cool. Look at that. Oh, these are the, the council, the evil council. A little, little Kung Pao reference for you there. Different movie. There's that. That's pretty cool. Let you see the back while I look at this. Oh, my God. It's beautiful. All right, let's see what else we got in here. All right, here's the insert. Oh, what do you got there? In the back, it's just, it's just uh, credits on there. But then, you got this beautiful artwork here. Look at that. That's great. Anything else on that side? No. And I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what also is really nice about this. Is this... I get a handful of records, and this stuff, a lot of the time, the cardboard that they make the sleeves out of, even a nice big gatefold like this sometimes, is just really flimsy, flimsy stuff. Oh, I forgot to put the graphic up. There you go. That's for the movie. That's what this is from. Um, but this is really thick and nice. This is fantastic. Um, all right, now's the time to get into what the vinyl looks like. Ooh. Oh, it's like super sealed too in case, I'm assuming in case it got wet or something. Nothing else in there. I'm going to gently set this down. Oh my goodness. What? Look at this. Look at this packaging. I've never seen this. Original master sleeves. It's got a sleeve on it. So you can see now. It's going to be a little surprise. We're going to get a Oh, look at that. I've never seen it with this kind of sleeve in here. This is beautiful. Non, it said, the sleeve here says non-scratching, anti-static, archival quality. So this, this can be in the Smithsonian. I'm the Smithsonian, perhaps. Ballpook Smithsonian location. Archives. Okay, how do I open this now? I don't want to, oh, oh, it's already, it's already there. This is not a seal. This is just the fucking sleeve this comes in. This is how good this quality is. All right, let's get this actual vinyl out, though. Oh, man, that's a beautiful sleeve. Look at this. Look at this. Now, this is going to be the only time I acknowledge the fact that the green screen is horseshit because you can't quite see it through this. But this is this, like, light blue actual color. It's not transparent. Like, the Hollywood sign is not part of this. It's a light blue with this beautiful splatter pink. This is gorgeous. Mmm. Um. Put it back in here. In fact, you know what I'll do? After I put it in here, because I don't want to hurt anything. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to lower the curtain on this shit just a smidge. But I'm going to turn off the chroma key for a second. Okay? Because I genuinely want you to see this. I know... Now that we're just breaking all these walls, this whole weird bit I do as ball pucks is one thing. But look at this. You have to see this. This is the only time this is going to happen. If this ever happens again where the green screen fucks up with the product, I'm not going to fucking acknowledge it. Waxworks, this is what you get. You've made such a beautiful product. Um, yeah, it's fucking gorgeous. Holy shit, right? All right. Let's get, oh, let's put it back away. Let's go back to being ball pucks. And not everyone's favorite B-movie maniac, Michael Hayes. Let's not be that guy anymore. One second. Transforming back into Ball Pucks. Hello. I am Ball Pucks. Anyway, so this is this. This is fucking gorgeous. This was... I don't know if there's any more of these available. Um, but if there is, grab it. The soundtrack is dope of this. I can't wait to throw this on and listen to what's included on this. But the soundtrack in the movie is fucking perfect. It's spot on. Ooh, it even includes the Frig Off song that they sing. And the, the rap at the end, I'm assuming, what that is, PG for short. PG for short! So, well, I give this 20 out of 10 stars. Uh, Waxworks. Psycho Gorman, thank you everyone. Everyone involved. And this movie and everything about it, the soundtrack is fucking beautiful. Thank you. Uh, and Gene, you packed it great. Gene, thank you, Gene. Give Gene a raise. How do I turn this off? Oh, bye. Bye.